I want to simplify this complex rational expression. And what makes it complex is there are fractions on top and there are fractions on the bottom. There's a number of ways to do this. Uh, for most students, it's easier if we work at the top first, the numerator, like it's one set, and then we look at the denominator. So if I do that with the numerator, what is going to be the common denominator? Well, it's going to be 2x, because I need one of each element from your denominator. Now, on the first one, I have to do 1 times 2, which is 2, and the second one, I have to do 3 times x. And then I want to do the same thing on the bottom. This time, the common denominator is 4x. So the first one, I had to multiply by 4, and the second one, I had to multiply by x. So I want to simplify the numerator and then simplify the denominator. So now the 2 and the 3x do not look the same. So that's going to be 2 plus 3x over 2x. The whole thing is going to be over 4 plus 3x over 4x. Now remember when we divide, we're actually multiplying by the reciprocal. So you can think of this as also looking this way. So if this is division, you could put a little division sign in here, and then you would have 4 plus 3x over 4x. So if I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, I'm going to rewrite the numerator. I'm going to multiply by 4x over 4 plus 3x, where we can only cancel things that look the same. So I see an x here and an x here, so those go away. And then I notice that there is a 4 here and a 2 here. So I'm going to have 2 left over because 4 over 2 is 2. And then I want to kind of squish everything back together again. I've got 2 times 2 plus 3x over 4 plus 3x. So we have that, but now the question is, we forgot to originally do what x can't be. So if we look back up here at the original, x couldn't be what from the original? Well, it couldn't be 0, because it would give us an undefined. And now we also need to do it for what we have right here. So I've got 4 plus 3x equals 0. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So 3x equals negative 4, but I want x all by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So x can also not be negative 4 thirds.